All right, this is SAT prep. We are doing test three, section four, and this is number 17. Uh, so we're given a long paragraph discussing how we have two functions, uh, one that gives the supply for a product uh, based on its price P in P dollars, right? So S of P is supply. Uh, and the other, which gives the demand for a product, uh, D of P, in terms of its price in P dollars. So um, how will the quantity of a product supplied, so we're looking at S of P, uh, to a market change if the price is increased by $10. So there's two ways to approach this, okay? So option one is to go uh, is to go with the plug and chug method, right? So option one is if this seems too abstract for you, pick a price. So pick uh, a price and say, okay, cool. If P was $100, what's the supply for $100, right? So if P was $100, what's the supply for $100? Um, well, that would be one half of 100, plus 40, so that would be 50 plus 40, which is 90, and then increase it by $10, right? So increase by $10. So if P was 110, well, that means the supply, if I increase my price by $10, would be one half of 110, right? Uh, plus that 40. So that's gonna be 55 plus 40, which is 95. Well, if I look at the options, all of the options say I'm increasing or decreasing by a flat amount, right? By five or 10 or whatever. Well, this is clearly a $5 increase, right? So it, there was no choice about, uh, about it being a percentage or anything else. So the only option uh, that makes sense is an increase of five units. So that's one option. The other option is, uh, and, and I'll be honest, this is the way I would do the problem. The other option is to go a little bit more algebraic, right? So the original S of P was one half P plus uh, 40 right? Which means that the new price would be P plus 10. So that would be a one half of the quantity P plus 10 plus a 40. Well, that's a one half P plus five. There's my increase of five plus a 40. So if you look at the old amount, it was a one half P plus 40. Well, here's my one half P plus 40. And oh, look, it's an increase of $5. So again, it's answer B. Either of those options are totally fine.